good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever you come across this video. Thank you so much for um, choosing to spend a little bit of your time with me. I'm so grateful for you, every single one of you. Um, thank you to everyone who's booking readings, trauma spotting, uh, sending in donations, and just being here, existing. Uh, so, uh, you know, I asked... Um, I asked, what's this message about? And I heard childhood love. Childhood love. So I don't know, you know, <laughs> where we're going with this, right? Because a lot of us, you know, <laughs> have some childhood trauma, okay? Uh, that's just typical on this journey. But I don't, I don't know what it's about, but that's what I heard. Childhood love. So um, maybe there's just, um, you know, somebody's higher self. Hello, black cat. <laughs> Maybe there's just um, the higher self of somebody or if you lost somebody that you really cared for when you were a child. Uh, maybe they've since passed, whether they were an adult or maybe, um, you know, they could also have been a friend or you could have been in a relationship with this person. Uh, maybe their spirits wanting to come through and just, I'm just, I, I feel like they want to give you some sort of messages of comfort. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Each one of you will know you are amazing. You are amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like I want to tell you, uh, <laughs> you know, um, whatever you see in me is a reflection of you. Hi, Skylar. Um, I am simply a reflection of all of y'all, okay? So, yeah, so I don't, I feel like this person wants to come through and um, I'm doing great. How are you, Skylar? Yes, Maui. You hear Maui? He heard you, Skylar. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Yeah, so this person is wanting to come through. And, uh, what? You need to go outside? Every time, guys. It's like recently every time. I don't know if like the energy is too much for him or what's going on. But hold on. Sorry guys. Yeah, so, um, hey King David. Thank you, thank you. Hi Tasha. Um, yeah, so, you know, there's this, just take it as it resonates. You'll know who this person is, but they wanna come through and give you some sort of like words of encouragement. Uh, maybe just some comfort, maybe, some, I don't know. I don't know what this is, I just heard childhood love and I can feel it in my gut. I also feel that this is going to be a very emotional reading. Um, so just a heads up, I'm already feeling strong emotions coming through. So if I cry, please, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I just put on my mascara. Excuse you. <laughs> Yeah, I cry, mind your business. No, <laughs> it's, it's coming through emotional already. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, what does this person have to say to collective? I can just, I feel it like overwhelmingly, like just in my gut mostly and in my heart chakra. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. Look, what do you want to say to collective? Whoever you are, what do you want to say to collective? Let me know. Something about there's uh, 
Now, okay, let me let me preface this, okay? Remember, this is like childhood love, right? So I'm not, I don't feel like if this person is still alive that they're necessarily coming back, okay? This is just a higher self or again, if somebody passed away um, and, and once these messages really start coming out, you'll you'll be able to pinpoint who this person is but so i don't want you to think that this is like a love message of somebody trying to come back to you or anything like that for some of you maybe but for but for a lot of you this is just somebody who is sending in their higher self to give you some sort of message because um because they feel like it's like it's almost like your higher self called them in was like they need to hear from you <laughs> they need to hear from you so um, first of all, whatever this separation was, whether it be in the physical or this person passed away, okay, they're, they're wanting me to tell you that this has helped you more the way that it is than had you two still been together. Okay. Good morning, Kella. Ke Kella. Kelly. Good morning, Rebecca. Um, Thank you for the virtual tissue. <laughs> the emotions kind of went away, but I got a feeling they're going to come back, okay? Um, there's something about this separation, okay, that is actually, y'all, I really feel like this person is is not in the physical anymore for a lot of you, for some of you, for, I don't know, just take it as it resonates, but it's almost like if this person has passed away, I feel like you guys have been um, maybe they've been thinking about this person a lot, or maybe there's something coming up like a certain date that just comes up and it always kind of reminds you, um, of this person. <sighs> oh my God. Okay. And I want you to know that if this person passed away, they've been serving you on the other side. This was part of the contract. Okay. If this person did not pass away, their their energetic like their higher self and their spirit has always been with you okay this feels like a deep connection that that it feels like the separation even though like during childhood right and it doesn't have to be another child it could have been an adult that you really were close to okay um for some of you it's like a mother figure or like a father figure um they want you to know that they never leave your side. Fuck. Um, they are very much with you all the time. Okay. And they have your back and they They feel like you feel alone. And I feel like that's why they want to come through because they want you to know that you're not alone. You're not alone. Um, and I know we all know that, but it's like this person specifically wants you to know like the day or there. You know what I mean? It's like we know that we have ancestors and that we have guides and we have angels. But this angel in particular, okay, or this higher self, okay, um, I really do feel like this person has passed on the way that they're coming through, okay? They want you to know that they are always with you and that you are not alone, okay? If you are wanting some sort of indication or sign in the physical okay there's something about birds here all right um but also just um uh like just ask them <laughs> they want you to ask them they want you to reach out to them they want you to try to communicate with them okay because they <sighs> can we clear these emotions can we clear the emotions please <laughs> Because it's like, I don't know what you guys are going through right now or if things or, or the significance of this timing of this person coming through right now, but they feel that it's very important that you know that you can always talk to them. You can always reach out to them. 
you can always ask them for help, okay? Um, because they, they, look, look, <laughs> look, this is you, this is them. They never leave your side, ever, okay? You need to know that, like, you know, energetically, they can be with multiple people at one time, and so I want you to know that they, they literally never leave your side, that they are watching over you, and that they have seen, they, they have seen everything that you've been through. And they, it's like they, they feel like they have been able to serve you better on the other side. Um, simply because they have been able to see everything that you've been through. Had they been here in the physical, they wouldn't have been able to really see everything. And, and they are just really supporting you in whatever journey that you're on right now, wherever you are in this path, okay? And, and that they, they are bringing forward whatever you need, okay? It's like they have witnessed you going through so much, right? Of just like reaching the depths of hell and bringing yourself back out. And, you know, I know a lot of us feel like we did it alone, but they were fully involved in this of like bringing you back up and rising you back to the top here, okay? It, whether it be emotional or spiritual or financially or in the physical or whatever it is, right? I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> Okay, and so, yeah, they just, it's its very strong. Let's see what else they want to tell you. But, yeah, they've seen everything. They've seen everything. For some of you, this person is coming through in kind of a humorous way and, and giving me, like, images of, like, this person, like, fucking some people up. <laughs> okay, this person... There are people that feel tortured by you and it's because of this person, okay? And, and they feel tortured by you because of their actions towards you, because of the things that were said about you behind closed doors, because of things uh, that were stolen from you, because of things that, um, you know, that was taken from you, whether it be your innocence or your, it could be money, it could be just your peace, your energy, whatever it is, they, it's like they have these people pegged out, right? And they are not playing with these people anymore. They have made it very clear to all of your enemies or all of the people that were in the contract to come against you that it's time to stop. The contract has been met and you have completed something, okay? You have you have reached a level in this journey, okay, to where they they can no longer mess with you. And I think that some of them continue to try to do so. And this person is making sure that these people know if they continue, they will they will reap far much worse than what they are about to anyways, okay? Oh my gosh. Um, let me, let me go get Maui and just catch my breath. Okay. Hold on just a second. <laughs> drink of water. So as far as people that have come against you goes, don't even worry about it. Okay. They are being handled. Okay. It's none of our business how they're being handled, but they are being handled. Okay. Um, it's, it's like these people are being energetically blocked. It's almost like there's been some sort of warning sign that has been given to these people. It's like they know 
they know that whoever this person is and even just your your you know other ancestors like i really am seeing like a whole army but there's one person stepping forward in particular that is bringing these messages to you because you just need to know you need some sort of confirmation or you just need a reminder that you're not alone in this and that you have some sort of very high ranking in the spiritual realm, okay? Like I'm I'm literally seeing like kings and queens, okay? Y'all are a bunch of kings and queens whether you realize it or not. You are, okay? Um which obviously in the spiritual realm there's no like hierarchy or anything like that, but it's like you have a very high ranking, okay? You sit at the, the spiritual council table or whatever, like I'm seeing a round table, right? And freaking uh, Merlin is there and, and you know, like all the, all the, right? So anyways, um, yeah. So these people have been given a very serious warning. So if you suddenly find that all of the people that were like, you know, that you had questioned their intentions, you had, if you set suddenly, if you suddenly find that people are just dropping off, right? They're no longer coming towards you. They're no longer, that's because you're being protected from these people. And these people are actually really terrified right now. Okay. They're terrified with your protection. They're terrified with who you are in the spirit realm. It's like, I, I feel like they, when they signed up for this contract, right, they were working with the devil and the devil didn't give them all the details as to who you are, right? Um, and that's how that goes, right? Fine print, the devil doesn't give all the details, right? Just the devil wants what he wants, okay? Or what it wants, okay? Uh, just like God, it's, it's an it, it's, there's, you know, masculine, feminine, anyways, it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> um, which, in, in all reality, I'm, I'm being brought to say, you know, because we are all one, we are one with the devil as well, okay? And that is where we have mastered our shadow side. We have mastered that side of us, okay? Not to say that you're the devil, because I don't think so. It's just, you. I hope you understand what I mean, right? We are all extensions of God, and that is including the devil, okay? Or devil energies or whatever. Um, so, whew, okay, what else? What else would you like to tell Collective? I said catch breath. <laughs> Catch a breath. <laughs> what else? What else? Mm -hmm. This is pretty much just saying exactly, you know, um, what I said here, look, I want to show you this. I want to show you this. I love it. I love it when the cards just come out and they just confirm everything that I said. I'm going to show you exactly how this came out. Okay. So these were the first two. You see this? You were sitting here working hard on whatever it is that you're working hard on. And this person over here is taking something from you it, but and, and watching you to make sure you don't see, right? They're taking something from you. Okay, and here's your, here's the, whoever this person is in the spirit. Look at this, the way it came out, watching this happen, watching this happen. Okay, now look at this person who stole from you. All those swords have now been put in their back, plus three more. Okay, not literally, but... And look, a freaking queen. Don't play with me. Don't, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> they said, leave it out, leave it out. Okay. They said, don't clear out the energy yet. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. Hello. Hello. 
All right. What else do you want to tell collective about this, please? What else do you want to tell them? Oh, I'm glad that emotional part is over. <laughs> oh, we. <wee. laughs> uh, what else do you want to tell them? Yeah, this is them trying to communicate to you, trying to give you some sort of signs, trying to like confirm to you. Because I feel like some of you, I, I'm just seeing somebody like, uh, like, at nighttime or, or it's in a really dark space, just like, you know, when you like slide down the wall and you're just like crying, like just like praying, like, ah, I thought the emotions were over. And you're just like, just, you know, like just praying for whatever, like just, I miss you or I wish you were here or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, Some of you have been really missing this person. And that's why they're coming through to tell you that they are here, they are with you, okay? And they're trying to communicate with you. They're trying to show you, okay? So they're asking you to open yourself up to receive. If they haven't already, they're about to start sending you all kinds of signs. Okay, all kinds of synchronicities that they're with you. They've been protecting you. They've been protecting your money. It's like your spiritual bank account is ginormous. Like y'all are freaking millionaires and billionaires and you don't even know it, but they've been protecting your finances because of these people that were coming through. They were watching these people take from you. And they were like, nah. So while they kept this money from you, right? While they protected it from you, or whatever it is, this energy, this business, this person, this new love, this whatever it is, okay? It was for your highest good. It was. Okay? They were waiting for this contract to be over, but while that they while that was happening, you know, they made sure that you always had everything you needed whether it be you know what I mean maybe when you were feeling down they would come through with like you know they would send something to be in your face that would make you laugh or that would raise your spirits right maybe a good song or a funny meme or you know or if if you were struggling financially they would make sure that you had everything that you needed whether they were sending in people to help you or you know, random little blessings or, I don't know, just showing you the way. And, oh my gosh. Wow. I didn't expect this morning to go like this. <laughs> oh, yeah. They've been patiently waiting on you to turn your back on a lot of things, okay? And you've been doing it, all right? And these, whoever these people were, they kept trying to come back, right? You would turn your back and they'd pop back up. And they were sick of it. They were sick of it. They were like, <laughs> like I, now I'm feeling anger. I'm feeling rage. I'm feeling like... Like, like I want to scream, <laughs> like, <laughs> they're mad, and that is why they have, they have done, that is why they've given such a warning sign, okay, to these people, and don't play with collective, because I will fuck you up. <laughs> It's like this energy of like, uh, <laughs> I, 
I just, it's like almost a little arrogant in a way of like, listen, I'm on the other side. Woo! I will fuck you up. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> don't you dare go towards collective. <laughs> It's like this energy that's like. Hey, Maui. Maui. Come here. You're all right. It's okay. All right. Pay attention to the animals right now. Not just right now, all the time, because they're always giving you messages. But, but some of these people might be communicating to you through animals. Okay. Um, but lots of different ways. Nature, signs messages, videos, this reading, right? But it's almost like these people are so angry. It's like they're they're telling all of these people that have gone against you, like, I'm on the other side. I have more power than you will ever imagine. And I can, just, I can turn your whole world upside down. And they will. Like, the rage that I'm feeling, is, they will. Like, they are not playing. They are not playing anymore when it comes to you. And they never were, right? But there was there was a contract that needed to be fulfilled. And, the, and, <clears throat> and it was. But these people kept going, right? They kept pushing it. They're pissed. They're pissed. My gosh. <laughs> But I, I really feel like them leaving in the physical, okay? Yeah, look, now look at these people walking away on their own <laughs> with their head down and their tail between their legs, okay? They got the warning. They received the warning, okay? Uh-huh, they did. Um, these people uh, passing away, was also part of the contract because they were a better service to you on the other side, okay? So uh, loss is hard. Death is hard, especially when you're not awakened to the fact that, you know, we're all just spiritual beings having a human experience and that um, energy is fluid and, and that they are always with you, right? And, and and that really, they never really leave you, okay? Um and so uh, it's like they just wanted to come through and let you know that they never did. They never did. They're encouraging you to get some rest, okay? Get some rest. It's important that you are, are, are not forgetting to take care of yourself, okay, during this during this time of change because I feel like there are a lot of things that are shifting for you in the physical because these people are now no longer a threat to where you're going in life. They're no longer a threat to your healing journey. They're no longer a threat to your what you're creating, what you're building, your legacy, your any of those things, right? So they're encouraging you to get some rest. Um, Take a break. Take a break, okay? Wowee. <laughs> he does. He does. <laughs> your love is sweet, Melody. Thank you. Oh, you said my heart, <laughs> but your love is too. But yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to channel and and decipher what what means what. That's so obvious. Your heart is like a literal heart. It's fine. We won't talk about it. Okay. So now they're wanting to come through with what they're coming through with for you, right? They done did the like, you know, I'm like, I'm feeling like, you know, they, they took care of, they took care of the, the, the trash, right? They took the trash out. All right. 
So with this chariot card here, I feel like there's balance coming in. I feel like there's discipline coming in. I feel like there's motivation coming in. I feel like there's movement coming in. And it's like, here comes the king. Here comes the queen. You know what I mean? Showing up on the scene. It's like now, it's like you were almost hidden for a while in isolation. It's like you were hidden, collective. And now it's like, now they feel as though it is safe for you to be brought out um, for the world to see. However that looks for you. <laughs> So funny these people are funny okay look at you look at you on this chariot look at this guy his head's all bandaged up looking at her i wish you could see his face he looks pissed he looks tired he looks exhausted he looks worn out but just like looking looking at her like i can't even go over there i can't even you know what i mean like <laughs> Thank you, Skylar. It's new. I got it yesterday. Look, and, and the justice card. And the justice card is here. Okay? You were, like... I, you know, it's, it's like... So here comes all of this happiness that you have just been desiring, that you have been working so hard to gain within yourself. Okay? It's here for you. It's here for you. All right. I like this strength card. Look at this strength card. She's petting the lion and he looks so happy. You know what I mean? Animals. Okay. Yeah. The, there's a need to celebrate. You, first of all, you need to celebrate yourself. Okay. You need to get some rest. You need to take a break. Okay. You need to... It's like... I feel like this person is coming through because a lot of you might be fearful because you have been, you know, because all of this has happened, okay? They want to tell you that they're with you and there's no need to fear. They want to tell you that um, you can come out now. It's safe. You're safe. Okay? Oh, Susan. So glad you're here. I love you. I love you, Amethyst. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, you're safe. Okay? All of these people can no longer, they can't come towards you. They can't mess up what is coming for you. They can't. And they won't. Because they've been given some sort of warning. They've been given some sort of sign. All right? That if they do, bad things will happen. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all, I don't know. I'm just channeling the message. The spirit's so funny. Uh, whoever this person is, they have a really great sense of humor. Okay? They have a really great sense of hu humor here. Okay? There is some sort of new love that's coming towards you, okay, that's also very protected. This person, it's like this person is bringing them forward, right? Um, tell me about this. Tell me about this new love. A lot of you, this person is still kind of in the shadows or still hidden a little bit. All right. They haven't quite shown themselves. Wish they would. Wish they would. But it's all about divine timing. Okay, I feel like this person is waiting on a sign from whoever we're talking to right now or their higher self or their ancestors or, or you know what I mean? 
um, it's like they're waiting on some sort of sign to come forward. Like it's time this per you know what I mean? It's like, it's almost like, uh, like they maybe didn't know, but it was like their higher self and your higher self or whoever, you know, whoever on the other side is involved here. But it, it was like, they, this all needed to be cleared out before this divine union comes in because, uh, this this connection is is extremely important to the plan to the journey okay whatever this connection and this union is you guys are going to be doing a lot of things that are helping others uh even if it's just healing yourselves uh you know kind of yeah look it's still in the shadows a little bit here but you can intuitively feel it you guys are like, see these dogs? Um, they're on different sides of the path here, right? But they're like howling at the moon. It's like they can both feel each other. They can both hear each other here. And then we have the emperor and the empress right underneath that. King and queen. Mm -hmm. But this... It's the truth with this ace of swords here, right? Mm -hmm. We got the judgment, the lovers, the temperance. We have the queen of wands, the king of wands. This person matches you. This is going to be equal give and take. This is going to be so fun and happy and joyful, right? With the sun card, like that's the best card in the deck. That's like all the good things, all the abundance, all the joy. And so there's a reason, right? We've got the star card, the healing, the six of wands, victory here, okay? There's a reason this has been kind of on hold. And it's because whoever this was that was communicating with you, as well as like a whole army of, of energy and spirit guides and angels on the other side, had to take out the trash, but they did. They took out the trash and it's been picked up. And so I really, really feel like this new love um, is, is going to take you by surprise. It's going to catch you off guard um, and it's going to show up out of nowhere. Oh, Tammy, I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, Northside, we're not doing uh, personals right now. If you want to purchase a personal, that information is in the uh, description box, okay? Yeah, me too. But I feel like, uh, you know, um, it. we have been... There is also this energy of some of you guys might still be holding on to a past connection and that needs to go, okay, uh, in order for this person to come in, all right? Like I said, they're waiting on some sort of sign from their higher self and, and it's got to be, the way has got to be cleared because this connection is so divine and it is so important to the journey. I don't know what you guys are going to be doing, but y'all are kings and queens, And so I know we've all been kind of wondering, right? Because that message has been coming through. And I feel like whoever this person was wanted to come through. And um, yeah, if we could all just send Tammy like lots of love, um, prayers for Tammy's situation. Um. <laughs> That's funny, Melody. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they're bringing them through, but just make sure, you know, they've cleared the path. Make sure you also clear the path, okay? Um, don't hold on to anything from the past because 
it, it's, it's time for them to come through. Summertime is very significant. We've been getting that a lot. I feel like there's a lot of really good things happening for you guys in the summertime or during this season. It's summertime here for me um, in the U.S., maybe not for others, um, but there's something significant about this season, okay, of really bringing through lots of really good things. So, your patience is not going unnoticed, okay, and, um, you know, it'll be here before you know it, and you'll be grateful, you'll be so grateful that it that the divine timing was as it was okay it is very very this i mean this connection must be something magnificent the way that it is being so protected okay i wish we could see the sky too it actually wasn't really heavy it wasn't too heavy. It, it was just emotional as hell. <laughs> yeah, can we all just, um, like, let's just take a minute and just send Tammy some love. Um, you know, I'm just going to kind of send some energy and, and just, let's just take a minute. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. <sighs> well, what a blessing that message was. Like, yeah, exactly. Amen. And so it is, and so it is, so more to be. <laughs> look at when we all come together and we all send energy and love and prayers it's it is you can, we can move mountains we can move mountains and fuck up the electronics all at the same time <laughs> all right guys listen that was a beautiful message and thank you for allowing me to, I just, I'm going to definitely give great gratitude for, to who, you know, all of the energies that came through to give you these messages for allowing me to be the channel because I feel super grateful. And I also am super grateful for all of you for just spending your time and trusting me and um, showing me support and coming together as a family. So, I love you guys. I love you. I love you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna kind of let you guys keep sending Tammy some love here for a minute, because there's quite a people in here. <clears throat> hmm. I hope you have a very good day. Um, I, you know, I, you know I'll be back. You know I will be. So, you know, I'll see you when I see you. All right? I love you guys. We'll talk soon.